that. Yeah. Hey there, Kay here on my new Tennessee homestead. Welcome to my channel. For eight years, I was an urban gardener in California and you'll find all kinds of informative and entertaining videos of my travels, interviewing other gardeners, and learning how to grow my own food in my very small micro farm front yard garden in California. Now I'm in Tennessee on a large property and it's like a huge canvas. Very hard to kind of decide, make decisions about what to put where. But in today's video, we are attempting to put bird netting over the blueberries. The wire structure has been in place. Justin changed the center tubing at the top uh, for better support but the bird netting that we had just was impossible. We could not get it to cooperate. So I've ordered something else. We've shelved that project and now we're moving on to planting the fig tree. I bought a fig tree in January and it's still been sitting in a pot and it's going to get planted right now. So stay with me. There'll be a whole lot more to come. How's that look? What do you think? tree it went through all of those frosts all of that snow and everything and a lot of the tips of all of the branches died but I knew it was going to survive and it started leaping out figs are really tough and they can take a lot of pruning they can take pruning every year fruit sets on two-year-old wood so don't expect any fruit this year but it'd be great if it kind of took off and started growing <laughs> He's going to finish it off with wood chips, but back from the plant. And while he's getting the wood chips, I'm going to eat my first strawberry from my new homestead. It's juicy, but it's not very sweet. That one was still not ready yet, was it? It was very ready. It was very yum. <laughs> the ones I had were sweet. It goes from berry to berry. <laughs> Is that or what? Yeah, pull them, pull them back. Uh, a little bit farther? Pull you them. want that dip in there though, right? Yeah, I do want the dip. If you imagine the round plant that went in the hole, mm -hmm. I don't want them touching any part of that. Oh, you're saying pull them back from the plant? Mm-hmm, that's what I'm saying. I thought you meant... I got you. Not flatten it out, no. So it'll rain in there. Yep. So that's good. Okay, we're moving on. All right, tree, grow and do wonderful things. So the next project is we are going to finally plant out the snap peas. It'll be really hot before you know it. This is a cool season vegetable and it's just 
you feel like you're procrastinating, but there's just so much to do. I always set about doing more than I can really follow through on. And that's the next thing we're gonna handle today. Justin is going to dig a trench down the middle. We're gonna lay in some of the garden soil that was delivered to us. And then we're going to lay in the gutters of snap peas right into that trench, fold it over, put in some stakes, put in a pea trellis, and hopefully that can get done today. Not like that? Yeah. I think the distance from here to this one is good, don't you? Are you looking at the end one? Yes. Uh huh. The distance from there to here is good? Yeah. And that's what I'm going to do on all of them. You got about a foot over your head, so it should be fine. 125 inches. So what we're doing is creating a bird netting shelter for our blueberries. Using the same concrete ladder mesh, he has wired two 10-foot pieces together and made six hoops. Over that, we're going to put bird netting and create a curtain door. We have to get two support poles and a wire to go down the middle to secure them all. We're going to be using some blueberry fertilizer. It's a little late to do that because they're already setting fruit, but we're going to do it anyway. And compost, biodynamic compost. A couple of uh, shovelfuls on each one. We pulled the wood chips back because wood chips uh, love nitrogen, so they leach nitrogen away from plants. You don't want to have them too close to your plants. Right down the middle, because we've got space, we're going to plant my snap peas. One row, right down the middle, all the way down. This is going to be one row coming right off of my gutters, the peas growing in the gutters. This is just an experiment of <laughs> putting two things together you wouldn't normally put together because peas are an annual and they don't necessarily need a, an acidic, they don't need an acidic environment. At the end of the season, we will cut down the plants and just bury them right there because Peas are a legume, and, and that'll be green manure for the blueberries. It's just tied in on both sides right. to keep it from sliding back and forth. Right. And, and then the door, we'll just have like kind of a drapey door mm -hmm. go that way. If that's what you want, yeah. And then we'll bring this one down and we'll just... Wrap it around it? Yeah, yep. like with the zip tie. So this is secure. Mm -hmm. And then this one will just drape over and we'll just clip it. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, and and should we do that on both ends or it's not really necessary, right? I don't think so. Okay. But yeah. this looks good. I, I can think. get in here with my head on the Stand up. <laughs> you don't have to duck down.
right, this is such a pain. Uh, but we're gonna get this one way or another. Justin has made fast work of digging a trench. We are going to just lay in these gutters of peas. We are going to slide them out and pop them in. Now we've got acid loving plants on either side of this, <laughs> but we're hoping not to run into the roots of this.
Okay, Justin is rolling out and we got a lot of stuff done that we didn't even cover on the video today because the big silage tarp, kind of a quarter of it blew over yesterday in the storm. Justin spent quite some time putting this support beam down the top of the blueberry enclosure. It wasn't supported enough, it was too saggy, so we used the electrical conduit. I saw this on Josh Satin's channel. Uh, he's using that electrical conduit and the couplers to put that together, to put through the T-post, to hang his uh, vegetables from strings. And I thought that would be a great thing to put down through here because it had more support than what we did use before. All for now, I'm gonna go inside and clean up. I got a little bit of dirt on my shirt today. Thanks so much for watching. And if you are a late bloomer like me, I hope you'll subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. Scroll down and click all so you won't miss anything. All the action right here on my new Tennessee homestead. If you enjoyed this video, please watch these. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'll see you in the next video.